fans descending upon the stadium. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Mason Mount, number 11, Marcus Rashford, and number 25... It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Davi De Gea begins in goal. Luke Shaw starts with Aaron Wan-Bissaka in the fullback positions. Bruno Fernandes plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the main striker today is Marcus Derek, he's Rashford. Tuck this away. And saved by the keeper. Going for the short one. With plenty of time and space. Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to it. It has to be! Oh, must be! And a goal, it was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. So on they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Shaw. Mount. Lisandro Martinez. Delightful pass. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Marcus Rashford. Excellent defending. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. On attacking possibilities. The cross is on. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Rashford here's Luke Shaw well that was a great save but the way they're playing at the moment the equaliser can't be far away now Yes, they just have to make sure they stay defensively compact here. Just the challenge that was required. Good use of advantage in United's favour. Rafael Varane. Casemiro. Now with Rashford. 
Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Great defending. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. What can they do from here? A fine reading of the situation. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. United could get in behind the defence. Casimiro was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Zakaria. It's a weighted pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. Shaw and Rashford read it superbly to take back possession well there we have it we're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley So the ball is rolling again. United might be behind, but still plenty of time for them. What can they do in the second 45? A super tackle and they've won possession. And Kunku. Sancho. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Might be a chance here. Well, when it's you against the goalkeeper, I'm sorry, you've got to do better. United behind, but a corner could come in handy. And played short. Bruno Fernandes. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. But then the one that goes astray. A really sumptuous ball. James. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Mudrik. Crossing possibilities. So half an hour remaining. Read it well. Mudrik. Nkunku. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Mateo Kovacic. Back with Nkunku. Well read to put an end to that attack. Twenty minutes remaining. No danger here as he runs at them. Rashford. Superb block. Well, it's been quite clear that Chelsea have been second best in terms of possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Yes, really good without the ball. And the all-around performance levels have been high. Very quick thinking there. Anthony. That's a good-looking ball. Wan-Bissaka. 
Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible! Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Ziyech. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Now showing excellent vision, Rashford with possibilities. And what a save to preserve the parity. Well, that was a big moment, and he's come out on top once again. What a great goalkeeper. Still level, but Chelsea on the attack, near the end. And the cross into the middle. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. Now, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Sancho. Now sliding in field. Mount. And beating the defender. Terrific block. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. And now they get the ball... Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part in this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. United might be able to cash in. Jadon Sancho. The possession lost, intercepted. Mikhailo Mudrik. Fred. Fred? Fernandes. Happy to take on the shot. Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. It's a short one. Opportunity. Oh, tremendous block. Nkunku. Sancho now. And we will have just one additional minute. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Mount. And teammates to play it to. He got in the way of that cross. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? 
champion lost his cheat. And teammates around him. Loftus cheek. Fred with it. Anthony Martial. Good tackle taken away. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Surely. Still alive, and second time around he scores, but the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. James, can he finish? And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. Rafael Varane. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. Fred. And there goes the final whistle the cup issue is settled a story of one side celebrating and the other distraught memories are being made well just look at those scenes down there Derek what a contrast in emotions brilliant for the winners despair for the losers but overall the right team won today yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with 